So we got our new lawn art here. I know these things are probably too rusted out to be able to be driving, but I think they look great in front of our flag, in front of our driveway. Uh-oh, who's this? Uh-oh. Looks like our cousin got here. There goes the neighborhood. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna unhitch this uh, trailer here, but are you kidding me? So my cousin gets here, and then she immediately goes and fills up her truck. Oh, man. All right, so there's been a lot of neighbors asking when my cousin's gonna get here, and she is finally here. So I, to be honest, Jim was bothering me a lot. I think Jim has a crush on my cousin. Just between us, Jim definitely has a crush. Don't don't tell Jim about it, but Jim is a little embarrassed, but it's kind of like a high school sweetheart kind of thing going on there, but Jim, he's kind of shy, so he doesn't really talk to her too much, but uh yeah, it's kind of cute in a way, I guess. Now that my cousin's here, I'm really starting to think. I don't really want her staying in my guest bedroom. Yeah. Well, no. Don't want that. I mean, she's already using my fuel at the farmyard, so... I mean, she's already taken advantage of me enough. Thinking... I should build her another house. So we kind of got some land kind of nice around the pond there. I was thinking, you know, why don't we just build a little house over there? Maybe build a few houses so if we have some part-time help show up or anything, uh, we could just have our, hi our hired hands stay in the house. So I'm going to go get the road grader build a road down there and talk to some construction people hopefully they can uh, work with me my short notice where did I leave it oh I think I left it on my uh, super M here go down here road grade this road a little bit got to get our cousin settled really quickly because we got spring tillage to do can't be messing around. We'll just start scraping this off here. I'm thinking all the way in the back would kind of be nice. Definitely don't want her too close to my house because, uh, yeah, she has some uh, weird hobbies we won't get into. But don't want her anywhere close around my house, that's for sure. Scraping on here. Man. So we'll kind of keep her uh, in the high point of this area. Don't want to worry about flooding my house. Or I got enough houses to worry about. Ooh, we might have to put a little bridge or something right here. This looks like a little runoff. We'll have to figure out something to do right here. Uh oh. Looks like we're stuck.
All right, so hopefully the cousin will like that. It's a little itty bitty uh, trailer house, but uh, she's just gonna have to live with it, I guess. Anyways, it's better in my guest room. So now I need to go and get my Chevy, or actually my GMC truck. And uh, I wanna get a new bed on put on that. So I'm gonna take it to the, the shop and they're gonna put a new bed on it. And I need to probably get to some tillage. Before I start on that, I think I'm going to start some tillage, get at least my cousin started, so she's going to have to uh, move in tonight because uh, she doesn't have that much anyways. I mean, literally, she drove her truck here. So I think I'm going to get my old uh, 4620 out here and hook it to our chisel and start my cousin uh, running it. Uh, I think I might just do the first lap and have her do the rest. Oh yeah, by the way, this thing runs. Just love, I just love that straight pipe. Look at that thing purr. Mm. Man, I might want to run this. So we're going to go over here, hook up to our chisel plow right here. Almost all of our ground is a little compacted, so we need to get them all chiseled up or plowed up. There we go. Got that hooked up. Like this sunshade up on here. So we're going to go to one of the piece of ground behind our house there where we're gonna start plowing in hmm. don't know if we can get through this way or not well yep I should have known already but we can't get through that way gonna have to take the long way around Ooh. Yeah, that reminds me, I didn't pick up my mail for today. Pick that up. Oh, yeah. More bills. Yay. We'll just leave that in the mail box there. Don't need to look at that stuff. Yeah, this thing kind of flies down the road. I like it that that smoke blows straight up like that so it doesn't really blow in your face too bad. Which is nice. Uh oh. That is a woozy of a ditch. Are we gonna be able to get across? Ooh, I don't know. Alright, yeah. Man, ooh. Man, that's a deep ditch there. All right, unfold this chisel plow and see if this old John Deere has it in it. Turn off that annoying blinker. Man, look at that rich soil coming up. Hey, this to this baby purr. This is our biggest field, so this is an 80-acre field. Uh, call it the South 80. I kind of like this. It's right by the highway, so that means we're going to have to put some extra care into this uh, piece of land. We can't have our neighbors thinking that uh, we don't do good work on our farm here. This thing goes a ways around this field, so...
So we are just about done with our first lap. Stupid cousin better get here soon. Ooh, wow. We did not do a very straight job of chisel plowing here. Hopefully the cousin can do better than us. Looks like, oh, here she finally comes. Driving like an idiot through the ditch. You know, thinking about it, she could have just easily just went through uh, her back trees and walked over here, but oh well. There's my cousin Go. Make me proud. You know, thinking about that, I probably should leave her truck here at the field. She needs, she has a really small bladder. And a lot of times she needs to go rush to the bathroom, so just in case. I know, she doesn't like going to the bathroom out in the field. But, uh, so we need to get our uh, GMC uh, lifted truck here. We need to get this to the shop. Basically, they're going to put a new bed on there. I know I had a Bradford built bed, and it's pretty nice. But I have a special bed I want to put on there. So we're going to go down there and see. We're going to take it down there and drop it off. Well, of course, we'll leave our bills sitting in our mailbox. Don't ever want to look at them. So this, uh, there's a shop just right down the road. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose area. They sell a little bit of uh, cattle equipment. They sell, you could sell your bales there. You could sell your grain. They also have a repair shop. I mean, it is like the multi-purpose business. Little co-op area here. So we'll just uh, end up dropping this off and then we'll have to uh, Get our wife to come pick us up. All right, shut this off here. We'll wait for my wife to come pick us up. Yeah, they got a little bit of equipment around here. Some uh, cattle feeders. Might have to come look at this because uh, we need to get into cattle soon. Oh, calf feeders here too. They they won't be bad, especially. So the plan is, I think I'm going to go into dairy cattle. So I had beef cattle a lot, and I just wasn't really making a lot of money at it. So I think I'm going to try full-time dairy, or big-time dairy anyway. So that is the plan. I wouldn't mind having this strip-till bar here. Nice little six-row strip-till bar. Yep, there's my wife finally showing up. Alright, we'll get back to the farmyard and uh, hopefully get some tillage done. I had to kick my wife out of the driver's seat because uh, I like driving this thing. Man, is this thing cool. Got some power. We will uh, drive by just to make sure our uh, cousin is doing what she needs to be doing. Ooh, yeah. I know. Calm down. Calm down, wifey. This is... We're just doing a little bit of mud in here. Where the heck is she at? There she is. I don't know what she was doing, but she obviously wasn't uh, chiseling like she's supposed to be doing. Hmm. Naughty. I'm gonna use my fuel and I got you a brand new house. You better be getting to work and staying to work. Alright. Let's see if we could do a little mud and take the easy route here. 
Don't worry, don't worry. I'll try to stay away from the bushes. Just close your eyes. There you go. Well, now I gotta wash my uh, wife's Jeep or Bronco off because she didn't want me to take it there, so. Better wash it off, otherwise, I'm in the doghouse. Alright, so that's done. So now, so the John Deere dealership said they got in a new ripper and wants me to come look at it. So we're going to do that really quick. I think this is a perfect time to see how nice our Toyota is. Our four wheel drive or lifted Toyota here. So we changed the fluid, we went through everything on this truck, so it should be running like a dream now and too it has one of the coolest bumper stickers ever attention buckle up i want to try something all right so let's see how this thing drives yeah still need to clean these windshields off or the windows off Kind of has a like a ringing noise to it, but uh, otherwise it drives fairly nice. Especially down these bumpy country roads we got here. I just love the way these old things looked. I always wanted these, one of these when I was in high school. They're just the coolest looking uh, trucks. Cheap and run like forever. All right. So, let's see, I, John Deere, man, I hope they don't talk me into buying something new, but uh, they really pushed hard for me to come down here, said so they really wanted me to try something, so, let's see what they got for us here. Just can't get over how much equipment they got on this uh, dealership. That weird yellow truck is still right there. Hmm. Nope. Better not park in the handicap. Looks like we're a little bit on the line, but uh, we're kind of close right here, so I had to get over. Big old Dooley. He's actually in the handicap spot right there. Shame. Platte Valley put your truck within the lines all right so let's go see our salesman don't see anybody around here where's everyone at I'm just gonna admire these beautiful old, uh, narrow fronts here still can't get over how fat and wide these tires are and them things are wide whoo all right so I'm waiting for the dealer to come around so he's still uh, helping other customers so he's you know how they want you they, they're busy but they definitely don't want you to leave the dealership so they're trying hard to keep me around so I'm just snooping at green paint over here alright so this is supposedly what they got uh, 2720 chisel so with our hard pack ground, this might not be a bad option for a really hard pack ground. And uh, pretty sure we can use the 8330 on this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is a high horsepower requirement. And that thing, yeah, it's kind of a narrow operating area. And this, man, them things are huge. Look at them things. We got a normal disc over here. Yeah, well, they're yeah, they're they're bigger than that. They're not terribly big. I guess they look big just because of this thing is kind of narrow and small. I guess. So this thing doesn't even fold up, which is kind of good. So the good thing with these uh, big chisels that go on the ground, they got spring tension release. So when we hit the rock in the field or you know that's like a Volkswagen 
Uh, we won't just uh, rip off or hitch on the back of our tractor or, you know, tear apart our uh, chisel here. It's kind of weird, you know, that that piece of metal that's holding it, it's kind of small. You would think this was, it'd be built a little bit stronger. Oh, so this is a soil management system. The good thing about this thing is all this is controllable from the cab. So you can control the disc, a uh, height, and how deep you want to put them. I don't think you control the rippers. That's just basically the shanks, how far down you put the the actual tillage machine. But uh, in the baskets, you can control the the pressure basically put against them. So they want 37 for this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger. I think I'm gonna get this. The only question is, uh, is that Toyota got it in it? I think it does. I think the Toyota has it in it. Well, checkbook is a little bit lighter. The wallet's emptied out. Well, let's see. Now, now the question is, does the Toyota have it in it to pull it back to the farm? See, these engines ain't huge. I mean, look at that. Can't even see the bottom of it in there. But, uh, it's a really itty bitty hood. I mean, compared to this big diesel over here, got all that room. Alright, it's hooked up. Now, the question do we have any squat? Well, I don't think we have hardly any squat whatsoever. Little bit worried that the back might be down a little bit too far, but we'll see. Oh, look at that! Like a glove. This ain't hard whatsoever. Now we just gotta get our 83 ready. This doesn't look strange whatsoever. A little Toyota truck pulling a humongous chisel ripper. Nope, just a normal day in Missouri here. Unhitch that, unhook the hundred of uh, cables and lines you have to unhook. I really need a tillage tractor and a planting tractor so I don't have to do this all the time. Alright, now we get this over. You know, thinking about this, I think I'm going to put the duels on this uh, 83 just for the tillage work so don't need them for planting I'll have to take them back off but I think you know the front duels ain't near as hard to put on these things than the rear duels but always when you're going under these doors like this wait until it goes all the way up I made that mistake once Get this over here by our work area. All right. Now we just need to find our duels where they're at. All right. So we will uh, screw these on here. Screw this next side on. All right. That's done. So now. We just need to hook it up. Ooh, wow, pretty sure our duels are going to be wider in this thing. Got everything hooked up, so now we're going to go to the field. So this thing isn't going to be near as wide as that other chisel plow, but I guess this is basically newer technology, and I just want to, I'm going to do some strips, put them strips in my GPS over here. And I want to just see if this is gonna get me a better yield than the regular just chisel plowing so this is gonna go a little bit deeper rip up that ground kind of set it back down for us so it's close to vertical till but it's not quite because the disc does swing some dirt around but 
the actual rippers are basically vertical till because all they do is rip the ground up, set it back down for you. Alright, make sure everything is set properly. Take off. There we go. Yep, so this is really narrow. Man, is that going to be... Almost looks like our uh, duels are basically going to be wider. But... It's not too bad. So, I think now that we have this... Uh, Deep Ripper, we're pretty much done. The only thing we're going to have to invest in still is some type of field finisher for planting. So don't want to plant into these, uh, you know, ripped, uh, want to smooth off this ground somehow. So we're going to basically have to figure out something we can do for, uh, cultivate and get a nice planting texture down or planting soil bed down but I'm sure the John Deere dealership will try to get us to buy something over there there's my cousin running so uh, I think I'm gonna put my drone up see if we can uh, get some good shots here while we're both running in this field I just lost connection to my drone. Oh man. Oh man. Where is it at? Where? Uh oh. Uh oh, that ain't good. That is not good. Hmm. Shoot. Well, I'm gonna have to send this thing in to get it fixed so stupid I just let it run into that tree so I basically drones they have a little uh, guidance system where they have a sensor system so if they're too close to an object they will uh, basically uh, divert around it the problem is is they also see dirt and dust and all that and they treat that like an object so a lot of times when I'm chiseling in the field I turn that off well, I just kind of messed myself up, and now I have a few blades to replace. So my cousin talked me into swapping here. She wanted to drive the new tractor and the AC, even though it's still kind of chilly out here. I don't know. She she is uh, kind of pressy, so she needs her nice cushy cab. I want to. 
she's gonna have to learn that, you know, she's gonna have to drive out in the open, in the open cab. This is how you get farming done. Feel the ground. Look at the ground. Smell the ground. But, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.